Heisenberg here with the Disgruntled Veteran. Since today is April 15th, 2018, I've decided to show and tell everyone how to keep your employer from taking out federal income taxes from your paycheck. You may ask yourself, why would you want to do that? But if you're like me and you're tired of corrupt politicians who get paid off our tax dollars, who retire on our tax dollars, whom don't work for us, or maybe you're tired of the $800 billion that the taxpayers gave the big banks back in 2008, 2009. What about the $80 billion a year in corporate tax subsidies? Like Walmart, for instance, they get $6 billion a year in tax breaks, but yet a lot of their employees are on welfare. And who funds welfare? Oh, the taxpayers. What about the $70 billion a year in religious tax breaks? A lot of religions, um, a lot of churches, they get collectively about $70 billion a year in free tax giveaways and tax breaks. Um, our $700 billion a year defense budget, um, you take the next 13 countries and combine them, $700 billion is way more than the next 13 countries combined, and that includes China and Russia. Or maybe we are upset that we're giving Israel $4 billion a year just for being our friend. Um, also, if you're like me, you're tired of the endless wars. I believe we spent almost $6 trillion in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Libya, all those places. And what did that $6 trillion get us? Um, a lot of roads and bridges that are busted and what have you. So, without further ado, by changing your W-4, uh, most people will have their uh, dependents at zero or at one. Depending on how many children you got will depend on how many more dependents you have. Um, some people like to put zero exemptions so they get a bigger tax refund or they get a bigger refund come tax season. Uh, they think it's like a savings account or what have you. So the more money they take out, the bigger check I'll get um, in tax season. But if you're like me, you, I want to pay less taxes. The, more, the less money that the government has of mine, that means I can put it to use investing, buying things, what have you. But it's my money, so I use it when I want to, um, instead of waiting for the government to cut me a check. So you claim one or two, whatever, uh, you get less and less taxes taken out. As you can see here, this is my paycheck um, from a year ago, uh, January 1st, 2017, and I claimed one exemption, and they took out the full amount of taxes. So what I decided to do was, is I changed it to 10 exemptions and when I changed it to 10 exemptions they took less taxes out but for some reason they screwed up they were supposed to take all the tax or not take any taxes out for federal income um, so they reimbursed me um, differences from the previous period and so when I raised it to 10 um, they technically were supposed to take zero taxes out but they took some out Anyways, so then I ended up changing it to 20, and when I changed it to 20 exemptions, um, they took zero taxes out, as we can see here. Now, they took zero taxes out, and this is all the taxes I paid for the year of 2017. Here's my pay stub from September, and still zero uh, federal withholding tax. So after a year, I only paid $374.88 in federal taxes after I changed my W-4. Now, I know there are some people that are saying that, oh, it's against the law, you can't do that. And some employers may even try to scare you by saying you may have to pay a $500 penalty or that uh, you make statements or claim uh, withholding allowances on your W-4 that reduce amount of tax withheld or you have no reasonable basis um, for those statements or allowances at the time you prepare your Form W-4. Well, a reasonable basis is the things that I mentioned before. Corporate tax subsidies, corp, uh, religious tax subsidies, the $700 billion a year defense budget, the endless wars, the reckless politicians who aren't working for the people. So, and what's interesting is, is even though the employers, they try to scare you into uh, not changing your uh, W-4 to make false statements, if you look at an actual W-2, right here this is my w-2 from my employer from last year and nowhere on here does it ask you how many dependents you had it just shows how much you made and then how much tax you take out so when you go to pay 
uh, the IRS or whomever you're going to have do your taxes. So when you go pay out of your own pocket to have uh, somebody file your taxes, they're just going to look at how much taxes you paid and how much you made. And then they're going to assess, well, you only really need to claim one. So they're going to adjust it right then and there for you. So then you're going to have to cut the IRS a check. Or if you're like me, you can just hey say, hey, you keep screwing with my money, you keep blowing it, I don't think you deserve my money anymore, so you could just stop paying. If 100 million Americans just stop paying their taxes, let's say average, two th everybody pays $2,000 a year in taxes, 100 million Americans, that would be $2 trillion that the government wouldn't get. That means politicians, that means these wars, that means bombing Syria, that means everything would have to come crashing to a halt until they fix something. So. My advice is to claim 10 on your W-4, pay zero federal income tax, and then when the government comes asking why, give them your reasonable basis as to why you chose not to pay taxes for that year. And so, anyways, thank you for watching, and if you like the video, please share it, like it, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Disgruntled Veteran. I have more videos lined up, and the next one is about uh, property taxes and RV trailers and campers. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and of course YouTube. Also you can donate to my Patreon account or just watch the video a few times to build up ad revenue. Thank you again. Keep fighting.